With PSS SYNCAL, Siemens PTI offers a comprehensive high-end analysis software solution for all of your power system planning needs. The unbalanced power system model which it provides is suitable for high, medium, and low voltage grids. Trust in PSS SYNCAL for a complete range of modules covering the design, modeling, and analysis of electrical as well as pipe networks. In this PSS SYNCAL tutorial, we'll be demonstrating the main features and benefits of using the load flow optimization module. We'll begin with the load flow itself, which is an effective tool for calculating the operational behavior of electrical transmission and distribution networks. It can be used to determine the power flow from generators through network elements to the power consumers. The load flow calculation results are used as inputs for other modules. To see this, load the example network example LD from the SYNCAL installation. Load flow settings can be found under Calculate Settings in the tab Load Flow. Every load flow problem involves solving a system of nonlinear equations, which are solved through numerical methods. As network behavior can differ, PSS SYNCAL offers different calculation algorithms to find the best solution. The operating points of the model network elements are adjusted in each iteration until a desired accuracy is reached. The maximum number of iterations can be set in a pre-calculation to evaluate a solution even if the wrong input data is available. If network collapse is imminent, loads may need to be shed to maintain the possibility of emergency operation. Load and supply are assigned priorities, and if shedding becomes necessary, this is done according to assigned priorities. If load shedding is on, loads are shed to restore valid operating conditions. Voltage limits for shedding are entered in the load flow settings. In building the network, at least one slack generator is needed in the network to balance the fault. This slack infeeder prescribes the voltage at a node and fulfills a balancing role, allowing power to be a result of the load flow calculations. Multiple slack generators are allowed. In case of islanding conditions, PSS SYNCAL offers the option of switching the strongest generator over to a slack to provide the isolated network with power separately. The loads in PSS SYNCAL are just one of seven different load flow types and combinations. How the load is to be entered in PSS SYNCAL depends on the networks and the available data. More than 15 different ways are allowed. Motors, including NEMA models, can be modeled more in depth. DC equipment, like solar generation, wind, or batteries, are also modeled separately in PSS SYNCAL to reflect their specific behavior. To perform load flow calculation, click Calculate, Load Flow, Standard. Selected load flow results are now shown on the graphic. PSS SYNCAL provides many powerful tools for visualization of results. To clearly see the network condition without reading numbers, the network results can be color-coded. For example, nodes can be coded according to voltage. For the voltages between 97 and 103 percent, they can be colored green to signify acceptable values, and voltages outside this range can be colored red. Utilization of branch elements can also be coded where red signifies values over 90 percent, yellow values between 50 and 90 percent, and green values below 50 percent. Activate the filter function to see the visualization of results. After performing a load flow calculation, PSS SYNCAL provides the ISO area, a useful tool for visualizing the results. Click Tools, ISO area to open the dialog box. Select Load Flow V, VN under Visualization Type. Adjust the color range and other settings. Now click OK. This powerful visualization tool gives the planner an immediate visual overview of the power consumption across the network, useful especially for large networks. In this example, network areas displaying under voltages can clearly be seen in blue. PSS SYNCAL's visualization tools give you the ability to highlight what you consider to be critical elements or operating states in a flexible, user-defined way. PSS SYNCAL can perform load flow calculations on balanced and unbalanced systems. To get a single phase current running, the star points of generators and transformers have to be earthed. Zero phase sequence data for network elements needs to be entered. 
To enable calculations when some of the network elements do not have zero-phase data, calculation settings can be used to prescribe values for these network elements. Click Calculate, Settings. In the Basic Data tab under Zero Sequence Data, you can enter additional control parameters for the calculations. Mode Zero Phase Impedance is used to set impedance so that network elements without zero phase sequence data will be considered in calculations. PSS SynCal displays network data for unbalanced network elements in the same data screen form as those of symmetrical elements. The only difference is their connection type. To demonstrate this, consider adding a single phase node. On creation of new network elements, the default setting is a symmetrical terminal with all three phases, L1, 2, 3. In the network data of the load, it is possible to define the load as a single phase. Now switch on the single phase load and repeat the simulation with standard load flow. It is clear to see that the results are now for asymmetrical load flow. PSS SynCal displays network elements in a simplified form where one, two, or three phase networks are not displayed in detail. The module also has a special function to show the type of network element connection. This can be turned on in the Format View dialog box. Click Options to display a dialog box where you can set the view options. Click Show Connection Type to display the connection type for all network elements. Four wire load flows can also be modeled in PSS SynCal. Here, the return conductor and the transition from the return conductor to ground can be modeled. The grounding impedances can also be modeled. The modeling of the return conductor is done with lines. Either the zero phase sequence can be defined as before, or the data of the return conductor is defined directly. This is done in the section zero phase sequence. To model the connection of the neutral points of the network elements to the return conductor or to the ground, the neutral point impedance is available. The neutral point impedance can be assigned to generators, transformers, and even to nodes and bus bars. This has been a demonstration of the PSS SynCal Load Flow Optimization Module. If you're interested in further details, feel free to explore our website or contact us directly.